Hey, Ladybug, just responding to your inbox about um, about the mock-ups. Um, please, please, please bear with me. My computer um, runs real slow, so the video quality is a little wonky, but we should be able to, to get through this. Um, you have the full version of Photoshop. I'm working in Photoshop Elements, so... Um, the reason why I do this workaround is because whenever I download Photoshop templates, it always flattens out all the layers and I can't really edit like I'm supposed to. So it's a little bit longer than what you should be able to do with a smart object with the full version of Photoshop, but here we go. What I did is I went to Google and I Googled um, blank chip bag PNGs. And this first one that I came up with was this one. As you can see around the corners, it's real, real faint. So what I wound up doing is I made myself an overlay. I opened that chip bag up and I copied the layers four times. So this is like five layers of this. That way you can actually see the outline. So how I get started is first, after I make all these copies, I flatten it. It gives you this. So I start off with my blank page, drag my chip bag on. After I drag my chip bag on, I go back to the overlay that I just flattened and I put it on top. What I normally do is I pull it out to the 2 on the ruler, the 9 on the ruler up here, and pull it to the top and bottom. I take the uh, lasso tool, the quick selection. Select the chip bag. Come on now. Okay, I overdid it. <laughs> How about I just start all the way over? All right, I select the chip bag. And then I come over here, make a layer mask. That clears out those white edges. I go back again and select the chip bag. But this time, I'm going to click on my chip bag layer. I'm going to click on my chip bag layer first before I make that, um, that layer mask. So that takes everything from around. I make the overlay, turn off the overlay, it'll disappear, and that gives the chip bag shape. Now how I give it the chip bag, the shadows and things, is I go back to my overlay and I unflatten it. Control Z. I'm quite sure you know. That makes it transparent again. So I go back to my chip bag shape and drop that transparent overlay back on it. Then I just pull it out to match the edges. Now it's not the most precise, but I tend to like it. You know, said being that it's not, you know, Photoshop and it's not like a smart object that goes exactly around it. You might see some dark edges, but for the most part, it works out pretty good. And this is what it looks like afterwards.
If you have any questions, give me a holler.